Hey guys, so I've been trying to build a long range, long range quad and I need long range batteries. So these are Samsung 40T21 700 cells. They're 4000 milliamp and they say they have a 40 amp or 40C uh, rate. So that should be plenty good for long range cruising, uh, more than good enough for long range cruising on a seven inch, I believe. So there I've packed them up and here they are in my drone. They were very easy to, to solder together into a pack. I need to add balance cable to them soon. I've got some I'll add. Um, so I didn't really know anything about motors when I built this drone. I thought I knew, but I didn't. Those are 2306, like 1600 or something KV. They're low KV, but they're actually, that's the motor. That's a generic motor that would come on the Esheen Wizard High HV, like a six cell. It's not the right motor for these applications. I need low KV, but I just need a bigger motor. So that's the next thing I'm going to get for the seven inch drone. But I wanted to show you a test here. These conditions are pretty extreme, really, honestly. Um, first off, I'm on the side of the interstate. I think there's a lot of interference for my video. It doesn't look quite as good as it should. Um, and it's really windy. It's like 15 mile an hour wind. So I wanted to kind of do a test to see how long I could fly this thing in some actual real flying conditions. Like maybe if I was flying off the, flying around some big hills or mountains and there's going to be some wind to deal with, how long could I actually keep it in the air? So the wind is pushing me pretty hard and uh, you can kind of see pulling five, six amps against the wind uh, or with the wind going really fast. It takes more about like seven against the wind to kind of keep moving. And so I just did some circles around this golf course for a while. And if you want to save some time, I'll just tell you what it what the test resulted in. Um, I the quad was on for about 20 minutes and I was armed for 17 minutes and 20 seconds so I landed when the cells were about 3.3 volts and just recharging the battery it recharged 3300 milliamps um, so that's you know probably about where I'd really want to quit flying this thing now I think that I could have flown it in more you know, light wind, no wind, um, and probably went quite, especially a few, near the end, I, I did several little punch outs and stuff just to, just to see how that, how it would react to that. Um, so I think I could have flown it a lot longer in different conditions. And if I was really trying not to do any of those like higher speeds and punch outs and stuff, cause it definitely took a lot of power to, to fight the wind here to go downwind. Um, video is pretty bad. Uh, the whole time and I feel like that is mostly due to the trees I'm around and then the fact that I'm on the interstate so there's probably a lot of like uh, wireless traffic and stuff as maybe some interference I don't know but uh, overall the 7 inch it's on by blades so it's not a lot of fun to fly it doesn't it has a really really loose feeling in the air it's really not very sticky um, it doesn't have a ton of power and uh, on, on 3s it uh, or on 4S, the lithium ion, it, um, you know, the, the voltage drops pretty quick as soon as you hit it. It's more like flying like a 3, 3S drone. Um, <laughs> but overall, you know, it's, I think these are perfect batteries for cruising. And $6 each, I forgot to mention it earlier, these batteries are $6 each. So for $24, you can build a pack that you know you can fly for 17 minutes on with a seven cell that's pretty awesome they weigh 300 the pack weighs about 300 grams um so yeah all right thanks